I wrote Oh Give Thanks about two years ago and it was a way to express the feeling that life doesn't always go the way you want it to, but certainly there's a sense of God's presence through all of that. And as Psalm 136 says, Oh Give Thanks to God for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. So this piece came out of that. We recorded it last year, late last year, in a, a very beautiful acoustic in a chapel. And recording here today is quite different, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to comment to that? Because you were in both of those. Yeah. Um, I guess in such a small, confined space that is, you know, damp and stuff, it's, it's hard to to blend together as well because you can hear everything and um, compared to the church where it had this beautiful reverb and um, yeah it was, it, was, it, was, it was really easy to sing in there because it kind of it was like a photoshop for the voice in a way <laughs> we, we really enjoyed singing there but, but today today was good too it was a good experience and good learning um, how to sing in a damp room The experience of singing in that hospital chapel and now today with Live at Salter, it's a completely different experience, but it's also a, an excellent one to see it from a different perspective, mm. I think. Here we get a sense of um, an actual recording studio, which is what we didn't have yeah. in the, in the, the church. Yes. Yeah. This is a bit different. Uh, in terms of genre, I don't know how to, to categorise that because it... It's just what I heard. It's it's something I actually heard it in a dream one night and, and woke up and thought, wow, I like that, and I started to write it down. It just sort of came from that. But maybe it might have some um, roots in a bit of perhaps jazz and a bit of gospel as well. They're the two areas, mm. or two genres that I'm really interested in and I love listening to. Mm. 